Meta was showing off their new AI powered Ray-Ban glasses. And during the live presentation, everything just kind of broke. So like an influencer was trying to get cooking instructions. Mark Zuckerberg himself couldn't pick up a WhatsApp call through the glasses. Initially, I kind of wrote it off because yeah. Zuckerberg blamed it on the Wi-Fi. But that's not really what happened, is it? No, because Andrew Bosworth, who is Meta's CTO, did an Instagram AMA and revealed what actually happened. And it's much worse than the Wi-Fi issues. Um, yeah, they accidentally DDoSed themselves. Uh, do you want to explain Ooh. what that is? Uh, DDoS is usually no, how... Uh, I, I don't even say it right. Shall no, no, no. Me? Like you're, A DDoS attack is usually when you just flood a system and you try to overwhelm it. Bosworth explained that when the, the chef said, hey, Meta, start live AI, it triggered every single pair of Meta Ray-Ban <laughs> in the entire building. They yeah. literally took every single <laughs> pair of glasses and all of a sudden just flooded the system. They had rooted all the live AI traffic to their development server to isolate it but they applied that routing to everyone on the building. So when one person triggered the AI, all like the hundreds of devices that were in the building all tried to connect it once. This is the classic, it works on my machine scenario. Let me put it into production and then everything falls down. So it probably worked perfectly in the controlled testing environment, but nobody thought about what happens when you scale it up to a building full of the things. It's a very relatable engineering mistake. How many times have, have we built something that works great in isolation or works great on your laptop and then falls apart the moment real users touch it?